be it? To fly, to swim, to dive into the fire, fly on the curled clouds, to thy strong, bidding task. Ariel and all his quality. Hast thou, spirit, performed quite the tempest that I made thee? To every article I boarded the king's ship. No one beat down in the waist. The deck, in every cabin. I flamed amazement. Sometimes I derive and burn in many places. On the topmast, the earth, and most bit, would I flame distinctly. Then meet and join. Joe, like the precursors, or oh, that dreadful thunderclaps, more momentary. And sight out running or not, the fire and cracks or salsa's roar. Now last, malignant thing, hast thou forgot the foul witch, Sycorax, who with age and envy was grown into a hoop? Hast thou forgot her? No, sir. Thou hast. Well, she gone. Speak, tell me. So you know, dear. Oh, was she so? I must once in a month recount what thou hast been, which thou forgettest. This damned witch Sikorax, for mischiefs manifold and sorceries terrible to enter human hearing. From Adie thou knowest was banished. For one thing she did, they would not take her life. Is not this true? Aye, sir. This blue-eyed hag was hither brought with child, and here was left. Thou, my slave, as thou reportest thyself, was then her servant. Refusing her grand hests, she did confine thee by help of her more potent ministers and in her most unmitigable rage into a cloven pine, within which rift imprisoned thou didst painfully remain a dozen years. Within which space she died and left thee there, where thou didst spend thy groans as fast as will we strike. Then was this island, save for the sun that she did litter here, a freckled wealth hag born, not honored with a human shape. Yes, Caliban, her son. Don't think I say so. He that Caliban, who now I keep in service. Thou best knowest what torment I did find thee in. It was mine art when I arrived and heard thee, that made gape the pine and let thee out. I thank thee, master. If thou more murmurest, I will rend an oak and peck thee in his knotty and twelve still thou hast howled away twelve winters. Pardon, master, I will be correspondent to command. And do my spiriting gently. Do so. And after two days I. I will discharge thee. That's my noble master! Must curse 
fright me with dirty shores, pitch me in the mire, nor lead me like a firebrand in the dark out of my way. Unless he be there. But for every trifle that is set upon me, sometimes, like apes, the mow and chatter at me, and after bite me, they like hedgehogs which lie tumbling my barefoot way among their bricks and my footfall. I would not wish any companion in the world but you. Nor can imagination form a shape beside yourself to lie on. But I prattle something too wildly, and my father's precepts I darin do forget. I am in my condition a prince, Miranda. I do think a king. I would not so, and would no more endure this wooden slavery than to suffer the flesh fly grow my mouth. Hear my soul speak. The very instant that I saw you, did my heart fly to your service. There decides to make me slave to it. And for your sake, am I this patient log man? Do you love me? Oh heaven, oh earth, thou witness this sound and crown what I promise it kind of if I speak true. If hollowly, in word what best is born of me to mischief. I beyond all limit, but yet in the world, true love, prize, honor you.
Enjoy your dinner, uh, Rashmi, on my dinner. <laughs> <laughs>